even in trying to bring it up right now is tough. Everybody has their own thoughts on it and how bad the situation is or if it's bad at all because we're not adoption experts so we don't know anything about that and can't really speak on that matter. No. But we can speak to the case of knowing how it is to have a child with autism, but not only that, but to have a child with autism on almost the most of your level. Our daughter, Malia, in case you're new, she is 10 years old. Uh, she is nonverbal. She's still not fully potty trained. She's like a, a ways there, but she's a very high wandering risk. She cannot be left alone for more than a minute by herself. She will eat or get into dangerous items. Besides just dangerous items, as far as the common stuff like, you know, chemicals and things, she has um, celiac disease, which she can't have any gluten or her body attacks itself, so she will also sneak things like that, which could make a medical emergency. She's 24-7 care. Even at night when we're sleeping, we're still concerned about her as far as her trying to get out her window, her door, because she just has no fear of danger whatsoever, so she wouldn't understand what it would be like to be outside. We actually have a video on her trying to get away due to fear. Well, I'll link it down below. So right now, please excuse us, but our three kids are in a pool right behind the camera. So if you can hear them screaming, that's why. And that's because Malia can never be left alone. And then her other siblings are eight and three. So obviously they cannot be left alone. So we have to have them very close by. I also want to mention that our three-year-old Isaac He'll turn four at the end of September. All right, this is something we haven't told anybody, but we've actually been kind of looking into it for the past year. Uh, we're highly suspicious that Isaac may definitely have autism. There are some things he does that are very similar to his sister. However, we understand that he could be on a very high functioning level, kind of the total opposite end of the spectrum uh, because he speaks, he, is verbal. he listens, he's doing good with potty training. So there's a lot of things he's doing and we're not worried like in autism they lose their skills sometimes we're not worried about that because he's almost four uh, i think in most cases that happens around age two to three yeah malia had a few words when she was like 18 months but they're all gone now and i think they were all gone by her third birthday 